What's up guys? We're back with another one. Today we're gonna be doing some chucker. A uh, buddy of mine uh, and his girlfriend, fiance, uh, harvested these things uh, out somewhere here local, somewhere near Vacaville, California. Northern California, by the way. Anyhow, vacuum sealed these bad boys up a couple days ago. We're gonna pull them out, spatchcock these. We're gonna get them out on the pellet smoker. Today we're gonna do them on the uh, Pit Boss. It's the Vertical uh, Pro Series. I guess some people call it the Copper Top. Maybe that's what they call it, I don't know. Anyhow, I know it does a great job for me on a couple other uh, briskets, uh, pork butts. Uh, we've done chicken by the half on it, watch for that video. But uh, today, we're gonna be spatchcocking some chucker. All right, let's cut this bag open. Also, I'm gonna use these scissors to cut the backbone out of these three birds. Give me a couple paper towels, you know how I like to do it. Mmm, mmm, nothing like the smell of fresh, wild game. Okay, again, I just wanna kinda pat these things dry. And they're small. Small little birds, right? About the size of a Cornish game hen, still with the skin on, which I'll discuss that later how we're gonna do with our heat. All right, so spatchcocking is real easy. And I'll, I mean, it's a funny word. All right, let's get it out of the way. Middle schoolers, fellow adult men, just <laughs> spatchcock. All right, it is what it is. It's funny, I know. So take a couple seconds to laugh. <laughs> Anyhow. Okay, what you're gonna do when you're spatchcocking, basically you take a chicken or a game hen or any kind of fowl, and you're basically gonna remove the backbone. And we did this on another video, a uh, uh, chicken by the half video, where we did the backbone first, and then we cut through the breastbone. Spatchcock, you're just gonna use some, some either a sharp knife, or I prefer some shears, some poultry shears, um, or some kitchen shears. We're gonna cut the backbone out, and then we're gonna flip it over and just lay them flat. Simple process here then is, one side of the backbone. It helps you if you slide your thumb right up the ass, right into the cavity. One side there. And we'll cut back down the other side. Okay, boom. Now, we've got a little more cleanup to do, you can see there. A little more cleanup to do and we'll, we'll take care of that. But what a lot of people do is don't throw this out. There's still some good collagen in this bone. Um, there's good fat in the skin and there's still a little bit of meat on this. So a lot of people will save these. You can vacuum seal these and use them for a broth later. Boil them up just like you do with chicken. Make some good stock. Okay, we'll set that aside to clean. Let's get our next one. And done. There we go. All right, now, we we'll clean these out real quick. We'll bring them back over here, pat them off again, towel them dry, put our rub on them, and get them out on the smoker. All right, we got our birds cleaned up. Before we pat them dry, I wanna go ahead and take some paper towels. Just kinda of wipe off. Okay. One bird, let's just get the water off of this. Boom. One bird. Boom, just like that. Now. Cutting the backbone out is only part of it. The other part here is, the second half of this is, set them backbone that you just cut out side down or breast side up. Then we're just gonna take, and we're gonna push them straight down so they flatten out. And you're almost gonna feel that breastbone pop, okay? They're gonna flatten out just like that. Okay, there's two. Yeah, this one flattened out real good. Very good, all right. Now for my seasoning, what I use is the same thing I use for my chicken. It's just a basic barbecue rub. Um, it's not my simple beef rub. This one this is about the last of it. I just made this up a couple days ago. Uh, I use this on chicken. Um, I actually use it on some fish too. Um, use it on my championships. Um, use this on my pork butt. So there's no brown sugar in this. Um, there is a little bit of salt. So I'm just gonna shake this stuff on. Now right now, I've got the smoker preheated to 350. Um, I'm gonna kick it up a little bit higher. What you wanna have with this skin is high heat, hot, hot and fast. Otherwise, if you've ever done chicken wings, um, low and slow, it, it comes out rubbery. The skin doesn't have that good crunchy bite through on it, and that's what we want. 
tap that in. I think we can absorb a little more from the board here. All right, just like that. Okay, boom. Three, spatchcocked, cleaned, seasoned chucker. Ready to go on the smoker. All right, smoker, preheated to 300. We just kicked it up to 350 a second ago. Got a water pan, fill it up. Boom. One, two, remember you want these skin side, fat side up. Three, and if you have more, that's fine. Just make sure you leave room in between them so that the smoke circulates all the way around. We're gonna set these up uh, for about an hour, and then we'll come back and check them with a therm pen. Let's give this a quick check. Woo! A little hot in there. All right. Yeah. You can already see meat starting to pull away. I said I had the therm pro. I don't. I got the Maverick. Let's check these bad boys right in the breast. Ooh. Ooh, we are just about there. Off the bone. All right guys, we've got these birds out there and they're about 20 minutes from coming off. I wanna get like a little mop sauce ready to go, just not to drizzle them and make them all gooey and ooey, but just something to kind of give them a little glaze. The last 20 minutes is when you wanna apply your glaze. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with a cup of ketchup, half a cup of apple cider vinegar, cause I love it. I'm gonna go with about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and about a tablespoon of horseradish and I may adjust the horseradish up. Um, we don't need to put any salt in this, we had salt in the rub, but um, this is gonna be awesome just to kind of mop it on, give it that last little glaze, that last second 20 minute glaze. I'm gonna get this together. Now this isn't gonna be some kind of barbecue sauce, thick and rich, bold and steamy, awesome and creamy. No, no, this is, this is, a, this is like a little, it's tomato sauce with the ketchup, but it's also got that, boy, it's got that, apple cider vinegar in there. And that makes a big difference. The way this is going, I might add a little more apple cider vinegar. I'll tell you what, any corrections I make, any corrections I do here, I'll add in the comments below so you guys can look up the comments and see what the corrections were made for this meal. Yeah, I think we're gonna do another half cup of apple cider vinegar, so that's one to one ketchup and apple cider vinegar. All right, I think we're good. Let's go mop. All right, let's toss these up. Check this out. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that apple cider vinegar can fill in my eyes. Perfect, here comes the smoke. All right, we're at about the one hour mark right now. Smoke is churning out pretty good. I wanna give these things one more baste. That'll put them at about an hour and 15 after we baste them. I wanna let them sit for about 15 minutes. That smoke is coming out good. I wanna sit for a second. I don't wanna open the cabinet until the smoke is done roasted. And then once the smoke dies down, we'll open it, we'll baste them, keep them in for about another 10, 15 minutes. Let's get it. All right, I think these guys are just about done. Dad, that looks awesome. Oh yeah. Isaiah, jump in here, take a look. Whoa. That's like, that's like three, yeah, that's three chickens right there. Yep, definitely is three birds. Those are like... One, there's two, there's three. All right. Dad, I think they're crispy, great, a <laughs> lot crispy. They're supposed to be crispy. We want that skin to be bite through crisp. Not rubbery, not pull through, bite through. All right, let's get in the house. Yeah, that's right, boom. We got these birds off the smoker, sauced up. <laughs> easy, take it easy. 
Let's cut into these. Let's see how they went. We're gonna pull a leg off of one. Mm. That's long. Oh, mm. oh my gosh. Mm. Let's see that smoke ring. Mm. You got redness in there? That is, let, me, let me pull this here. Oh, look at that juice. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me cut in some of this breast too. Mmm. Here we go. There's some of that breast meat right there. Mmm. I'll tell you the truth. The breast is a little, well, it's not the best light. The breast is a little done. Oh! It's a lot more tender than I thought it would be. Mmm. Well, yeah, it tastes good. Ma'am, I'll tell you what. This chucker, this mother chucker, I thought, because we went by, dark meat, knowing that the, we we're going to sacrifice, you know, dryness and moisture on the bread. I'll tell you what, for my first time smoking wild chucker, I like it better than I thought I would. We spatchcocked these. It's three of them, three of them. Now I got a house of, I got, I got me and my wife, two kids, plus kids that are going to be coming and going always, you know, the neighborhood. Um, this is plenty. I'll, I'll cut this stuff up. Plus, we'll do some vegetables. I made some butter. Gonna make some mayonnaise here in a second. You know, you've seen the videos. Hey, Dad, why haven't you um, posted a video in a long time? That's a good question, son. It's probably because you keep me so busy. But I love you. Anyhow, thanks, guys. Thanks for checking this out. Really appreciate those of you who subscribe and watch. Uh, if you're just now watching it for the first time, subscribe to the channel, man. We really uh, appreciate the subscriptions. Anyhow, hey, thanks for watching Culinary Therapy. I'm gonna full, I'm gonna full dip it. Mm. Ah. Oh, thanks, babe. I wasn't recording. <laughs> I have a good angle now. <laughs> That's awesome. That's actually awesome. I wish you were here. <laughs> the look on your face, I'm That's how it goes. I'm sure Rachel Ray suffers with the same shit. At least I wonder if she does.